I've created this video tutorial to share with you some tips and tricks that I use when preparing a digital file for print, uh, specifically when printing a gallery wrap image. This is a photo that I took of the Chicago River. Uh, it's a digital photo and I'm starting out by correcting the perspective and I can accomplish that by selecting the entire image, grabbing the corners and then doing a free transform. And the goal here is to make the edges of the buildings parallel with the sides of the canvas or the image. The guides that I laid out serve as a kind of a visual reference uh, to line up the edges of the building with. Once that's done, I'm going to hit enter, clear the guides. And I'm also going to go ahead and crop out the bottom portion of this picture. There was a railing that got in the way of this photo and it really doesn't do anything for the composition. So we're just going to eliminate that. Now I'm going to go ahead and change the size of the image, uh, preparing it for print. So we're going to change the resolution to 300 DPI or pixels per inch. And we want to make sure constrained proportions is selected and we're going to change the height to 16 inches. It's going to automatically set our width. The width is going to be larger than 20 inches based on the, the frame size of my camera. So next we need to crop off uh, the edges uh, of the width to equal our 20 inches. I'm going to visually line up uh, the selection tool here. Delete. Okay, now we have the proper proportion, 16 by 20. On just about every photo that I print, I run a, a levels adjustment. And by adjusting the levels, you're adjusting the contrast of the picture, making the darks a little bit darker, the lights a little bit whiter or brighter. This step will make your photos a little bit more dramatic. Next, we're going to zoom in. I'm going to run an unsharp mask filter. This is also something I do on Im every image that we print. And a good starting point if you're at 300 dpi is to put the amount to 200, radius 1.5, threshold about 6 or 7. You can go and fine tune it from there. The unsharp mask just crispens up all your edges, brings out some of the details of the photo, and is also a great thing to do before you print an image. That's it for our image adjustments. So the next portion of this tutorial is to show you how to create a gallery wrap. In this demo, we're pretending that we're printing a 16 by 20 canvas. So the first thing I do is lay out guides around the perimeter of the image. And then we're gonna change the canvas size. Let's also pretend we have a one inch stretcher bar, which means I wanna add a minimum of two inches to the overall canvas width, an inch per side. And I also give it an extra half inch to allow a little bit extra of the image to wrap around uh, the back side of the stretcher bar. With that said, the new canvas size is 22 and a half by 18 and a half. Next, I want to reflect or mirror the edges of the canvas. So we start out by selecting the left portion of the image, copying and pasting, and then going to the edit menu, transform, flip horizontal. We'll drag that layer so it bumps up to the edge of our left guide. We're going to perform the same procedure on the right side of the image. Again, selecting about a two to three inch portion of the right side here. Copying and pasting. Performing a free transform, flip horizontal. And then dragging and dropping to the right side of our guide. We're gonna flatten the image. Now I'm gonna come up to the top. Copy, paste, reflect. This time we're going to flip vertical. You'll want to flip vertical for the top and the bottom of the canvas. Last side, we'll do the bottom. Copy, paste. Oops. Copy, paste. Flip vertical. Align that layer with the guide. And that pretty much concludes the preparation of this image. It's ready to print. Uh, again, it'll be printed as a 16 by 20 gallery wrap. It'll have about an inch and a quarter 
of uh, bleed or, or the portion of the image that wraps around the edge of the stretcher bar. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. We'll see you next time.